Hey guys, welcome to another clean with me. In this video, I've got some new bedding that I'm taking out of the package and washing. I'll be sharing that with you as well as some of my absolute favorite non-toxic cleaning products and we are celebrating Tucker's birthday in this video. I'm also going to be spray painting the lamps. We talked about this in last week's video, so if you are curious what I chose to do with them, then definitely stay tuned because that makeover is happening in this video. Got the feeling from the start you might be the guy who break my heart hello and then of course I've got tons of cleaning motivation for you because what would a cleaning channel be without cleaning motivation? So hopefully that inspires you if you have your own messes because I think we all do no matter what we're doing, if we're doing home projects or just dealing with life, going to work, whatever we've got going on, we've still got to keep our house clean, right? So I've got cleaning motivation for you in this video as well. And I'm going to be doing some home refresh projects with some new picture frames and some new pictures that I purchased last week in my home goods shop with me if you haven't seen that video you're definitely going to want to check that out before you watch this one because we did tons of shopping and redecorating and all the fun stuff but today is kind of a continuation of that video so we're going to do everything that I didn't get done in that video in this one so if you guys are here for it then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up in a comment and let's go ahead and watch today's video. Okay, so these are my favorite sheets ever. I've talked about these a ton of times here on my channel, but if you are new, these are by Sonora Kate, or I may be saying that wrong, but they're on Amazon, and they're a brushed microfiber. They come in a ton of different colors. I needed a new set because my current gray set I've had for a couple of years, and it's been washed a hundred times, and it was starting to kind of get that like peeling, you know, that like scratchy feeling that materials can get. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the washing machine, that new set in wash with my branch basics laundry detergent. I am going to be talking all about these awesome non-toxic cleaning products later on in the video. So make sure you are staying tuned for that because if you are interested in non-toxic cleaning products, these are the ones you're going to want to get. Okay. It's somebody's birthday today. Tucker, is it your birthday, buddy? Tucker. Is it your birthday? So I got the dog some Frosty Paws and this is dog ice cream that's good for doggies to eat. So we just got the original flavor. They did have a pumpkin flavor right now, but we just went with original and um, the dogs love this. We do this every year for both of the dog's birthdays. So we're gonna do some Frosty Paws for Tucker and Bailey to celebrate their birthday and we're gonna sing happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tucker. Happy birthday to you. Okay, there you go. There you go. I want to treat you. I want to treat you. You want to treat you? Yeah, I'll treat. Yeah. Okay, so my room is a mess, but... I need to change my new bedding and put my new bedding on. Um, but the first thing that I want, I need to clean in here too. I'm sick, so I apologize for my voice. As you can see, my little sick station over here. But the, I want to spray paint these lamps. So we talked about that in last week's video. I talked about doing them black. Um, but a friend suggested that I try a beige color. So I found this color. I think this is really pretty. It's called Smoky Beige. I love the color, I'm just not sure if I'm gonna love it for my lamps, but I figured it wouldn't hurt anything, so we're gonna try. I'm gonna spray paint them today, and um, if I hate them, I'll just get new lamps, but I figure I would try this first. I am going to grab these lamps and go ahead and strip my bed and get it ready for the new sheets that are washing right now, but I wanna get these lamps spray painted really fast so that, um, they will be drying and then when I put the new sheets and put everything back together we can see it all come together. I also did print out pictures for those frames so I'll be putting them in as well. Okay so I have my sheets in the washer washing because we know that takes forever and I'm going to go ahead and strip my bed and get the, that part just done so that I can go ahead and take these lamps outside 
and spray paint them. I wasn't sure how many coats it was going to take or how long it was going to take me. It did end up taking me a little bit more time than I was expecting, but I'm going to go ahead and get these unplugged and outside and prepped for painting. Here is our reminder, if it'll focus, to dust our light bulbs. Look at all that dust. Ew. It's so gross. Ew, it just fell on the floor. Anyways, yeah, that's your reminder. Go dust your light bulbs. Okay, before I wanted to spray paint them, I definitely needed to clean them because they were covered in about an inch thick of dust. So I just went in with my Branch Basics all-purpose cleaner to get all that dust off, get any dirt, any debris or anything like that because you definitely want to clean anything before you're spray painting it. And it did dry really, really quickly out here. There was a little nice breeze going and the sun was shining. So it dried pretty quickly. So I'm just wiping that down. And then I decided to go in with some painter's tape and just wrap the portion of the cord that was close to the base just so that I didn't get spray paint on it. So I know we had talked about me possibly doing black, but I was talking to my friend about it and she made the point that I already have dark furniture that black might just be too dark and I agree with that. So I went with this color. She said maybe do like a beige and I found this spray paint color at Walmart and I thought it was beautiful. So I decided to try it and when we get to that portion we'll talk a little bit more about what I'm going to do moving forward. But I do really love this color and I do think that they look great and you will see how they turned out here in just a little bit. Um, spray painting, if you've never spray painted before, one quick tip, you definitely want to go in short, quick burst. You don't want to just sit there and hold the nozzle down or it will have like drip lines. You just want to do quick, short burst. So I just did that all over and I ended up doing about three coats. Okay. I am going to let those dry and come back and see if they need anything. But this is what they're looking like. It's really hard to see. This is really harsh light. So we'll see. We'll be able to tell more when I get them inside. But I'm going to let them dry just to make sure I didn't miss any spots. Maybe give them one more quick coat. And then we'll bring them in in a little bit and see what they look like. Okay, while that is drying, I'm going to clean up the kitchen because this is stressing me out so bad. This is just like what's left over from breakfast and all of that stuff so once I get this cleaned up I'll start feeling better <laughs> but I've got this to clean the living room and I gotta put my bedroom back together and I want to do some decorating in Hank's room so I have a lot to do today in this video um which is great for you guys so hopefully it'll give you some motivation but anyways let's go ahead and clean up this messy kitchen I made pancakes for Kinsley this morning. So. A huge shout out to Branch Basics for sponsoring today's video. So at this point, you've already seen me using my Branch Basics multi-purpose cleaner. So let's talk more about what this is and how much I absolutely love this product. Branch Basics believes that a clean home should also be a safe and healthy one, which I think we can all agree to that. As you can see here, they literally have you covered from every room in your house, from your kitchen to your bathroom. They have a product for just about everything. And I feel great about using their products because I clean my kitchen kitchen like a hundred times a day, no joke. And I obviously have kids and I have pets and I would much rather be using something that's non-toxic than something filled with harsh chemicals. And it also cleans so good and it leaves my granite countertops super shiny. So when you purchase, you will get the concentrate, which can literally clean just about anything. You take the spray bottle that's included in your kit. You can also purchase a glass one on their website if you would rather have glass. And there are clear instructions on the bottle with each one it's going to be different so you just want to flip it over and look at what it says to do so I'm going to fill it up to the water line and then I'm going to add the solution up to the soap line and then the last step is just to top it off with water and that's it that's how easy it is to mix up and it's just water and then their concentrate and you can go and clean your entire house with this I'm also going to be mixing up some of their soap this comes with a foam pump which I absolutely love I prefer a foaming hand wash. I just feel like it cleans better. It definitely feels like my hands are getting cleaner that way. So I'm going to just go ahead and quickly make me up a foaming hand soap as well. But like I said, you can literally do everything with just their concentrate, which also helps reduce clutter. If you're trying to get rid of cleaning products that are unnecessary, this one will do all of it. 
And because this is completely non-toxic, you can also use it to wash your fruits and vegetables. So as you can see here, I'm just using the multi-purpose spray to clean our apples that I just got from the grocery store. I'm just spraying them down and then I'm gonna rinse them with water. Also stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you how well their laundry products work. I have a very stained backpack from my daughter. So you're gonna get to see the before and after so you can see how well their completely non-toxic laundry products actually work. So whether you are are someone who is sensitive to harsh fragrances or chemicals or if you're just looking to make a non-toxic switch for your home I urge you to consider looking into Branch Basics. Their product line is absolutely amazing. The packaging is beautiful. It's super simple to use. This is definitely one of my favorite non-toxic cleaning systems that I've ever tried. And they are offering you guys 15% off their starter kits right now. So you can check out the description box for that link and you can just use the code Jesse Christine. So check out the description box for more information and the link and go over to Branch Basics, check out their website and make the switch today. Okay, so my kids had fall break this week. I think I mentioned that earlier. I can't remember if I did or not, but they had fall break this week. So in this video, I had all three kids home with me. So I have a little bit more of a mess than usual, and I'm a little bit more behind. We did go to a really cool pumpkin patch that we have sort of locally. It's about an hour and a half away, and they have a bunch of animals, and they have a bunch of activities for the kids. We really enjoy going there. I've been taking Maddie there since she was little, and now it was hanging first time going and it was Kinsley's like third or fourth time maybe going but I went with a friend of mine and we had so much fun the kids were so well behaved the weather was absolutely perfect there was no sun it was like cloudy and overcast and it was about 70 degrees so it was just perfect the perfect fall day and the kids had so much fun and I will tell you what happened when we were there. So they have like this bed of this truck that they've turned into like a corn pit for the kids to get into and play and Kinsley loves to play in that. So her and her little friend were over there playing in the corn pit. We were sitting just right outside of that area watching the little babies play because my friend also has a two-year-old. And here comes Kinsley running and she says, Mom, you'll never believe what we found in the corn pit. They found a black snake in the corn pit. Yeah, it might have actually been a corn snake. We're not sure. I didn't see the snake, but anyhow, they found a snake in the corn pit. And I was like, oh my gosh. And you know what my child did? She ran and got back in the corn pit. She was she petted the snake and then got back in the corn pit. Some man removed it from it and set it free back in the cornfield. But she loves snakes. She plays with them. I've showed that on my Instagram. I have videos and photos of my child literally catching snakes and playing with them and begging to keep them as pets. But I'm absolutely, absolutely terrified of snakes. So it's so funny because I cannot believe that this child came out of me, but she did. And yeah, so that had happened there, but that's about the only really fun thing that we've done this fall break. I feel like I've been working all fall break, um, just doing YouTube stuff. I do have another channel now. I announced that last week. It's called cooking with Jesse. If you want to check that out, I put all of my cooking content over there. I share what's for dinners and different ideas for you when it comes to dinner time, because I know I'm always looking for ideas. And when I do share cooking here on my channel, you guys love that. So I just made a whole separate channel for that. You can find tons and tons of ideas over there. So go subscribe to that channel, check it out. And hopefully that will be helpful to you. But yeah, that's about all I've had going on. And then today, as I'm doing this voiceover, we have just been, I've been working all day on editing this video. And then I've also been cleaning up the house and doing laundry and packing because tomorrow we are all headed home to Indiana to visit family because my nephew, it's his first birthday, which is super exciting. And um, we are going to go see family. And then we're also going to be looking at our land and finalizing some plans with our land there. Um, it's like exactly where we want our house to go and, um, just kind of starting the process with that. So I've talked a little bit about that in last week's video as well. So if you want to know, you'll have to go watch last week's video. I kind of went in more depth about that there. So yeah, if you want to know, go watch that video because it's all in there. That way I'm not repeating myself for those who did watch it, but 
Um, that's what we're doing this weekend. So we've just been busy, 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 just doing stuff that basically needs to get done. But we did have one good, fun fall day. And now I'm just showing you kind of the close up of what everything looks like after I got all that grease splatter and cooked on food. And that's just with the Bridge Basics multi purpose. So if you're wondering if it truly does clean, it absolutely does. I've not had any issues with it getting anything clean. I use it all of the time. This is probably my fifth or sixth bottle, truly, that I've made because I've had it for about four months now and I've been using it literally daily. So I use it on pretty much everything. You'll see me using it again throughout this video, but it's awesome. I love the glass cleaner. It also works great. Okay, I have Maddie's filthy, disgusting backpack here that she insisted on having this creamy beige color and I told her it was gonna get dirty. And here we are at fall break and it's fil filthy. So we figured fall break would be a great time to wash it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna be using this Branch Basics Oxygen Boost Laundry um, stain remover and their laundry soap as well to show you how well it works. So I'm gonna throw this in and let that get going and then stay tuned and we will see how it comes out. Hopefully this comes out looking a lot better than it does right now because right now it's pretty dingy. It comes with a little scoop in here, which is so cool. Okay, we're just gonna do one scoop in here and see how that does for us. I'm gonna go ahead and put it directly into the washing machine. And now I'm gonna use the laundry soap. Okay, so it has been a minute. It's washed, so let's see how it turned out. So, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I think it looks pretty doggone good considering this is a really hard material to clean, but it's like that waterproof kind of, water resistant kind of material. But overall, it got almost all of the staining that she had on the bottom off. No more, I think it was like pencil marks and scuff marks from being like on the floor of the bus. It's still a little bit wet, that's not a stain. It's just still wet because I literally just took it out of the washing machine, but yeah, it looks really good. I'd say it almost looks brand new again, so she's gonna be really happy about that. All right, so now it is time to dust off these light bulbs and it is time to get this room in tip top shape, clean and ready for the new stuff. So whenever I'm redecorating or putting in new decor, I always like to clean the room first. I cannot decorate a messy room. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust my end tables here. I cleaned those light bulbs. I've got new sheets coming and I'm gonna get everything nice before I put those lamps in here and we see the final reveal and see how we feel about them. But as you can see, I'm using the Branch Basics multi-purpose as a dusting spray in here and it works great on my wood furniture. And then I'm just gonna use the glass cleaner to clean my glass. But if I'm being completely honest, I probably could use the multi-purpose on my glass too. I think it would be fine and it wouldn't leave any streaks, but I just wanted to show you specifically. It's the same exact cleaner, it's just, mixed differently if that makes sense so it's like a little bit more water and less concentrate for the glass cleaner and then a little bit more concentrate less water for the multi-purpose and every one of their products is basically like that so for the bathroom one it'll be probably more soap less water if you understand what I'm saying so super easy to do anyone can do it and it really works okay so in my last video I asked about your opinion on the shams if I should do the cream ones or the green and I was voted like 95% green 5% cream but ultimately you know and if you watch that video that I ended up going with the cream because that's what I loved best <laughs> it's loud in here I'm sorry because I have my um whatchamacallit my air purifier on I always run that when I'm like dusting and cleaning in here I'm gonna soak that in my um, all purpose, right? That sticker that I could get off. I'm so bad at these. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want that to get on my comforter though. Hold, please. But anyways, I hope it's not too loud and annoying. I wanted to tell you, so I'm up here doing all this and a man walked out of our woods and he was walking along our property line 
and he was walking in and out of our woods and going back and forth, but I think it might be my neighbor. I'm, I don't feel threatened, so, but I called my husband who's at work and just let him know and asked him what he thought I should do and we're just gonna keep an eye on it for right now because I do not feel threatened and I let a neighbor know as well. Um, so I just wanted to tell you that that is what's happening. But anyways, I'm gonna try to get this um, sticker off and get this glass clean so we can put these pictures in and do the fun part because I think my lamps should be dry now. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I wasn't out there spray painting my lamps when he came out of the woods because I probably would have had a heart attack. I had the hardest time getting these to go back in here because I mixed up the backing that went on them and they were not made the same. <laughs> okay, so what I ended up doing, I had to cut the camera off because I was getting very frustrated. It was I switched the backs. I must have done that in the process of this. I just flipped these to the other one and it fit like a glove. So they just weren't cut exactly the same. But are you ready for the reveal? Ta-da! So these, oh, you can't see. So these or what they look like. I'm gonna put them on the nightstands in a minute, but I'm gonna go check on my lamps. Alright, so now it's time to put these lamps back in and I think that the color is so pretty. I want to spray I want to spray paint something else this color now because I have that whole can. It didn't take much at all and it's such a pretty color, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I actually have a picture frame that I might spray paint. Who knows? Who knows? The possibilities are endless, right? But I do love them. I didn't put them up there and like immediately hate them. However, I do want to say this. I was looking on Hobby Lobby's website and I found a lamp that I think is so pretty and if I go in store and find it, I might probably buy them for my nightstand and then just either use these somewhere else or sell them because I think they're still really pretty. But if you saw the lamp, you would understand because <laughs> it's like, it screams like, bring me home. You would be perfect for Jessica's bedroom. So stay tuned because I am going to go to Hobby Lobby and look for it. And if I find it, I'll obviously bring you guys along for that. And then I also want to get a different picture frame for the picture that's on my dresser. The picture frame that's on there currently just doesn't really go with this like aesthetic anymore. I am not the type of person who typically will like go in a room and completely make over it like all at once. I typically do it in like little spurts. So I apologize if that's what you like, but this is what's more like realistic for me, but I may end up when I'm in Hobby Lobby, if I do or don't get those lamps, regardless, I may end up getting something for my nightstands. I'm not sure, but right now this is what everything looks like. And I'm just loving the way that my bedroom is coming together. I've just absolutely loved the frames there. I love the bedding that way. I love everything. So I'm very, very, very happy with it. I think it looks so clean, crisp, and just beautiful. So now we're moving on to my son's room. I bought these frames. Again, I shared these in last week's video in my um, home goods haul, in my home goods shop with me and haul. And these are the frames we're going to finally be putting them up today. And let me tell you first, I just going to start. They're hung up and I printed out pictures, which by the way, I just printed out the pictures on walmart.com and picked them up. I did one hour photo. They print it perfectly. And these are all iPhone pictures too, by the way. So I highly recommend Walmart's photo printing. It's quick and it is great quality. So the matting is white or cream. I'm going to do cream. I think I like the cream better. So I just wanted to let you know that a lot of times it is like that. That is the case in a lot of instances when you buy um, a mat. Usually if it's white, one side is also cream. Maybe it's not supposed to be that way. Maybe Maybe it's not supposed to be like, maybe that's the back of it, but I think it looks great. So I'm going to do cream. Anyways, what I was saying is that Hank loves these pictures in his room. He lights up with joy every time he sees them. He goes over each picture and tells me what's in them and he just loves them. So I highly recommend if you have children and you're looking to update their bedroom with decor to get some frames, print out some pictures that you've taken on your iPhone with things that they love. For instance, he loves monster trucks. So I printed out that picture of a monster truck. 
it will seriously make their day. I'm going to be doing this in Kinsley's room soon because I have gone, I've gotten some really cute pictures from the pumpkin patch when we went of her and her bestie. And I'm going to definitely be printing them out and putting them in frames because it just makes them really happy. And I just really loved doing this and I love how it turned out so, so much. And I feel like it was so inexpensive. It was $25 for all three of these frames. And then I think each eight by eight picture cost a couple of bucks. So really inexpensive. And also, if you didn't see last week's video, these frames came with this template to hang them. So literally anyone can do it. You don't need your husband to do it for you, girl. You can hang the pictures by yourself because they make it super easy. I definitely have some work to do in his room as well. It won't be too long before we'll be making this into a big boy room, but for now he's still in his crib and doing just fine. So I have no like future, like super, what, how am I trying to say this? Super close future plans. <laughs> I can't talk um, to move him to like a big boy bed or anything. But um, he's just accumulating more things as he gets older and I definitely need to figure out a situation for him. So for now, I grabbed this like storage um, crate out of the basement that we had and I put his books in there and someone suggested putting them up doing like bringing out only certain books at a time. And I do love that idea. I just currently don't have any bins for that idea. So I actually need to go. I got my other bins at Sam's Club. I need to go to Sam's Club or maybe order some on Amazon and get some more bins. I need to do that for his toys anyways, because he's accumulated more toys and we need more bins, but, and Christmas is coming and his birthday will be coming in February after that. It's just like every month we're accumulating more and more stuff. I need to do another purge here soon for sure. But yeah, his room is a work in progress, but I'm super excited with how those pictures turned out above his dresser. And I did take the ones that were already above his dresser since they already, like the aesthetic was perfect. He does love these pictures because it's him and his daddy and a tractor, which are his favorite things. Um, and I just hung them in his bathroom because they matched his bathroom perfectly. And I didn't use any sort of guide. I just did girl math, you know, and figured it out. And they ended up hanging like if you ask me perfect isn't this a good life sitting on the front porch sipping on the rocks citrus in our beverages citrus in our beverages show only the good sides always pretty smiles are covering our faces you know it is our lies you know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to... Okay, guys. <laughs> I am so sick. Oh, this is just the time of year that I get sick every year. But, um, it's alright. I will be okay. You gotta power through it. When you're a woman, you just gotta power through it, right? We don't get to have sick days. I thought this shirt had a hole in it. It's the thumb hole. <laughs> I just got this and I was like, it already has a hole. It's the thumb hole. Okay, guys, in full transparency, I was going to do a Q&A here, but I guess I just didn't put it off and give you guys enough time because I got one question and that's just obviously not enough for a Q&A. So I'm not doing a Q&A in this video. I'm sorry, but I had no questions to answer. So if you want me to do another one in the future, then let me know and I can try and give it more time. I just posted it this morning in the community tab. I don't think a lot of people see my community tab. Um, and I let like three hours go by while I was editing the video. And when I went to do the voiceover, I looked and I had literally one question. I was like, okay, so that's canceled. But anyways, I'm Finishing out this busy, busy day that I had by folding my load of laundry and then I was done. I did do some cleaning behind the scenes. I'm not going to lie. I did clean my bathroom and stuff. I just didn't film it because I've cleaned it a hundred times and it's so much harder when you're filming. So 
I did do that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are loving the new updates. I always think it's fun to update your house and do no do new decor. I can't talk. Um, so yeah, if you did, don't forget to leave me that thumbs up. It's important. Leave me a comment. That's also important. Even if you just leave an emoji, I don't care. Say hi, whatever. It definitely helps and share this video with friends and family. If you think that they would like my content and also don't forget to check out the description box, there'll be the link to the Branch Basics non-toxic cleaning products. If you are interested in making the switch, I highly, 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 highly recommend that brand. I seriously love it. I cannot rave about it enough. The link and that coupon code to save you some money will be there. And then also the link to Cooking with Jesse if you want to check out my other channel. So until next week, guys, I hope that everyone is enjoying this beautiful fall weather and I will see you next time. not the color I thought they were. That's so good, buddy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm gonna There he is again. There's a man walking in my backyard. had padding and one didn't. What is happening? Why are these not the right size? Oh, this one's going to be fit. Less the glass, please. And less the glass. Ugh. Why is that one not on the bottom? I see more process here. Real shoot. I don't see where I scratched that at all. Hair guys, nothing. Am I gonna need to grab that butter knife again? Yeah. <sighs> hey, this is how to be so difficult. I'd say I did pretty darn good. I look like a ghost right now. Oh, come on. What is the problem here? Okay. There, do I still look like a ghost? I'm not so. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. I know. I have too many clothes. My back hurts. My back hurts. I need a massage. Ooh. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever.